All right, now, a Norfolk community is preparing to remember legendary boxer and Norfolk native Sweet Pea Whitaker. Mayor Kenny Alexander and others will speak at a candlelight vigil at 7 o'clock at P.B. Young Elementary School in the Young Terrace neighborhood. That's where Whitaker grew up. He died Sunday night after being hit by a car while crossing Northampton Boulevard in Virginia Beach. Tenor News Nine's Stephanie Harris is in the newsroom now with more about Whitaker from a man who knew him as a trainer, a mentor, and a friend. Anita Tom, Dorn Spivey is also a professional boxer with lots of wins under his belt. Dorn Spivey is a tough guy. My record was 50 wins, 6 losses, and 34 knockouts. Yesterday, he took a blow, learning of the death of Purnell Sweet Pea Whitaker. It, it was tough because, you know, I'm a guy that holds this emotion. Spivey has a long history with Sweet Pea. He remembers watching Whitaker win a gold medal in 1994. And that just really motivated me to see a guy from this area to do so well. I just watched him in the Olympics and he just dominated. It was just amazing for me, completely amazing. At age 19, Spivey started his own boxing career. I got a couple of wins, thought I was some, something special. Then I go to Waring's gym to work with Sweet Pea Whitaker. He watched Whitaker in awe. He's the best defensive fighter in the history of the sport. He would learn a lot from Whitaker, but not for another decade. At age 32, Spivey sought out Whitaker to train him. He not only became a trainer, but he became a good friend with me. We became good friends. You know, I would go hang out with him. We'll go eat together, do things like that, go to his place and just hang out, laugh and joke, talk about different things. In their two years working in the ring, Spivey soaked in Sweet Pea's defensive style. Whitaker would stand right in front and make you miss. It was like he was the Matrix, just moving right in front. It was, I've never seen nothing like that in my life. His mentor was a motivator that will be missed. He would always tell me, too, as long as you get in there and give it your best, you'll win in my ass. He would tell me that. And Spivey now is a coach himself, and he hopes to do something soon with the amateur boxing program in Hampton Roads. He says, that would be a good tribute to Sweet Pea, who always said the amateur fighting was really what he loved most. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.